let's find out all about this. Uh, we're now joined by Quinton Zunga. He's a group CEO at RH Fund Managers Group. He is joining me now from Johannesburg. Great to have you on the show uh, with us, Mr. Quinton. Now, of course, as I mentioned, some are calling this new scheme globally unprecedented. Give us some insight into why this new law is so controversial in South Africa right now. The new law is controversial because it, it seeks to redress the medical uh, expenditure in the country. Um, it seeks to introduce universal health care and uh, transform the healthcare sector from a very skewed utilization where the wealthy use a lot of medical benefits and the poor lose use much less. So that is the real crux of the controversy around how best to equalize the health care spend in the country. Mm. But I want to delve a little further into that because uh, critics are also saying that the plan will drain already stretched public finances uh, and also raise general taxes uh, in the country, amongst other issues. So give us a sense of the wider implications of this bill to government spending and also to citizens' pockets going forward. I think the, the, the reality of the matter is to provide a health care, quality health care to the full population will cost a lot. Obviously, then that brings implication of how it is going to be funded. Um, already, we know that the public sector in South Africa is overstretched uh, as it caters for 80% of the population, whilst the private sector caters for 20% of the population. But the, those two groups use almost the same amount. So the critical factor around uh, financing quality health care to everyone is how will the government be able to fund a much more expanded uh, utilization and bring up the expenditure on the lower cost uh, or lower income groups. Um, currently, they have not laid out fully how it will be funded and that is where the contestation is as how is it possible that you be able to provide health care to, to, to everyone. Mm. Now, you alluded to this earlier, but I'd like you to go further into what the pros are of this bill uh, and what is the government's rationale for coming up with uh, and, of course, implementing this new scheme? Is it political? I would say, look, it's a multiple of factors. Yes, there is a possible uh, political expedience uh, because it, it is more of a populist move for the underprivileged and the majority of the population. But it is also trying to redress some of the inefficiency in the system. Uh, one has to, to, to give background that in South Africa, the high end 20% who use private health care have a, a very high quality health care, even by international standards. But if you look at the 80% that does not have uh, private health care, the quality is very low. So I would assume the government would find political merit to it. But in the broader perspective, there is need to redress uh, utilization of healthcare and and follow other examples of universal healthcare that have been used around the world to try and get a, a more equitable uh, healthcare platform. Mm. 